talk about what this group does and how many times you bring suit. What kind of a difference does it make? When I joined the uh, Fair Housing uh, Justice Center, I think eight or nine years ago on the board, uh, one of the reasons that I did it was because it was finally an organization that was doing something, was making a difference. There are plenty of organizations that talk about making changes, but a lot of them are just policy questions uh, and answers. But uh, I finally found in uh, Diane Houck and um, Fred Freiberg, uh, who started the organization, uh, a group of people who were dedicated to uh, actually trying to do something. And by doing it through a testing program, uh, you actually eliminate this issue of uh, whether the subtleties that a lot of us have faced um, uh, actually go away. So I, you know, joined wholeheartedly, and over the years, uh, the organization has done a terrific job of finding discrimination, which is not hard to find in New York, in the New York metropolitan area, uh, through people making complaints, but as well as uh, studying housing patterns in the city. Now, Nicole said, you know, the f fair housing justice in this city comes down to your center. What does the city need to do to take this citywide? Um, the, the best thing that could happen is actually enforcing the laws, city, state, and federal government. And as a good friend of mine said, that if he had become the Attorney General of the United States, what would you do? And the first thing that should be done before you appoint any U.S. attorney, any district attorney, there'd be a litmus test. What are you going to do to enforce the civil rights laws of this country or this municipality? That would be the, the most important question. If you do not have um, any will to enforce those, then we're actually treading water.